the investigators learned that neither pilot had ever landed a DC-8 at Guantanamo. They wonder if the captain knew that runway 10 was a more challenging approach than runway 28. They studied the airline's procedures. They had to watch a video. That's it. Because of the difficulty landing at Guantanamo, military pilots require special training to land on runway 10. But the cargo airline only required its civilian pilots to watch a short video. Exercise extreme caution when landing on runway 10. Records show the captain and first officer had both watched the training video within the past year. Align your base leg just to the right of the strobe beacon. This beacon identifies the U.S.-Cuban boundary beginning at the shoreline. To avoid Cuban airspace on the left, the plane must make a tight right turn. Where's the strobe? Right over there. It where? Right over there. It where? The captain can't locate the strobe light that marks the Cuban border. You know, we're not getting our airspeed back there. The flight engineer notices that the plane is still flying more than 10 knots too slow. Where's the strobe? Right down there. I, I still don't see it. Instead of increasing his airspeed, the captain keeps trying to find the strobe light. Flight engineer Richmond sees the DC-8 isn't properly positioned for the landing. Do you think you're going to make this? Yeah. If I can catch the strobe light. First Officer Curran is also concerned. But Captain Chapo isn't taking the hint. The DC-8 begins its critical final turn. The team needs to know why the crew didn't abandon an approach that was clearly going wrong. 